Ball is Life gang, welcome back to The Heat Check, brought to you by Ball is Life. I'm your host, that girl, Kayla Nicole, and today we've got a special Heat Check alert. James Harden scored a career high of 61 points Wednesday night. He was 5 for 20 from 3, 22 for 25 from the free throw line, and finished with 15 boards. Talk about a Heat Check. All right, we're ready to kick off today's show with the top highlights of the week. Let's go. First up, Keontae George is making quite the name for himself. The ninth grader out of Louisville High School in Texas is a crazy smooth scorer at six foot four. Not only can George score in a variety of ways in the paint, he also has something that most young players don't these days, a burner from three point range. Keontae is putting up 22 points per game and his team is 21 for six, on the season. What level of college hoops do you guys see George playing at? Nico Mannion is still cooking. The Arizona bound PG was up to his old tricks in a 20 point win over O'Connor Tuesday night. The Red Mamba has a crazy feel for the game and it shows in his stats. Nico is dropping just under 30 points per game on the season while dishing out 6.3 dimes and grabbing six rebounds a game. His team pinnacle is 19 and three on the season and one of the top two teams in the state along with Shadow Mountain. Do you guys think Nico will be an immediate impact player for the Wildcats next season? Let us know your take in the comments. Next up, Onyeka Okongwu is unstoppable. All right, y'all, if you thought the center position was dead, Big O is here to show you it isn't. Peep this stat line. Onyeka scored 38 points with 17 rebounds and seven blocks in a win over Grant of Sacramento at the Orange Lutheran Hoop Fest on Monday. The USC signee stays bodying defenders in the paint and swatting shots away at the basket. He can also step out and hit a face-up three-pointer too. We see you, Big O. All right, guys, are you ready for your chance to win some fire Ball is Life gear with an absolutely fire comment that you can leave on this ridiculously fire show? Well, our Friday episode is where you can make that happen. And if you do, you will win this Ball is Life sweatshirt. So leave a comment, funny, informative, poor grammar, whatever, on any topic discussed on this episode, and we'll pick the winner on our Tuesday show. Good luck. And a one, and a two, and a three, four, Kawhi. <laughs> Tunnel by. In Tuesday night's Suns Timberwolves game, Devin Booker and Gorgie Jang almost went full on WWE SmackDown on us after Jang caught Booker with an elbow. But of course, no hands were thrown in the making of this fight, ultimately turning into just another NBA scuffle. And Gorgie still with some words as he's being walked off. Gorgie's and saying, meet me in the back, Devin Booker. I'll meet you in the back hallway. And Gorgie's running now. And, and Booker running as well. The Suns security team was trying to hold him back. Afterwards, Jang said he was just trying to swap jerseys with Booker and not beat his ass in the hallway. You guys wanted to meet up in the hallway after that, that happened? Or did, you guys, did everybody keep it separated? Or what happened back there? Yeah, we wanted, I want to just exchange jersey with him. Swap jersey with him. <laughs> Tell you what, you want to see a real tunnel fight? Check out this footage of Rick Fox and Doug Christie throwing hands at a preseason game. Now, Rick Fox getting in the face, elbowing Christie. Christie wastes no time getting up, flipping the ball even at Fox, and then Fox pushes Christie, and Christie pushes Fox right there in the face. Christie, Fox would resume their fight in the tunnel like we knew that was going to happen and then everyone gets involved. I mean, the entire King's bench comes out to join this man. Next up, contrary to popular belief, Steph Curry is human. The Warriors superstar was setting up something nice on a fast break against the Lakers before the floor fell out from underneath him. And he also added insult to injury by airballing the three-point shot after the spill. Curry off the steal. And oh, look out. Here's what Curry had to say about the play on the Late Late Show with James Corden. That's me at school. That's how I felt every single day. What went through your mind when that was happening? Well, see, what happened was <laughs> the LA Kings had a game right before us, and they must not have put the floor back on top of the ice all the way because there was a little wet spot right there. Right. I slipped. I, in my head, like, I knew I was about to do some crazy 360s dunk I've never done in my life. Right, yeah. And uh, 
Just didn't happen. Next up, we've got the dance-off of all dance-offs. Two young Sixers fans, Dominic and Anthony, went head-to-head -head in an ultimate Jumbotron dance battle. And they did it all with their shirts off. So who do you guys think won the battle, Dominic with the cast or Anthony? And why the hell did that grown ass man in the Eagles jersey start taking a shirt off like he was allowed to join? All I know is that Dominic was giving his best Chris Farley impersonation. <laughs> All right guys, sliding into our next segment, GTFOH. Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. The Go. Russell Westbrook wants the Blazers to get the F out of here. The latest NBA beef involving the feisty OKC guard centers around a Pointland guard, Evan Turner, and center, Yusuf Nurkic. First, Russ didn't take kindly to Turner stealing his signature celebration. Then Russ got pissed at Nurkic for saying something after the Blazers center blocked his shot. Um, next question. You and Damian had a couple of Oh no. I, wouldn't, I didn't even see it, honestly. Uh -huh. Honestly, he can rock right back to Portland. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Nurkic then took to Twitter to respond to Russ's clown comments, saying, quote, why not, West Brick? It's a pretty good one. Russ is clearly just looking for people to beef with these days. What do you guys think of Westbrook's latest antics? All right, guys, it's time we have a serious conversation about Carmelo Anthony. Is it time for Melo to get the out of the NBA? The former All-Star is on his fourth stop in the last two years. He was traded to the Thunder in 2017, then to the Hawks in 2018. The Hawks then bought him out and he signed with the Rockets, but unfortunately parted ways with Houston just a couple months later. Fast forward to this week and the Rockets have agreed to trade Melo to the Bulls, but Chicago is planning on cutting him loose, allowing him to sign with the team of his choice. Lord, T-Mac thinks Melo still has a spot in the league. But I look at a team like Portland Trailblazers with McCollum and uh, Dame Lillard. I think if you put a guy like Carmelo Anthony coming off of their bench and providing offense, Melo can get you 16 to 20 points coming off of their bench. They don't play that type of up style tempo where he just catch and shoot. I think they play a, a style of play where you can actually go to Melo to his strengths in the mid post and be a threat for them and take some of that pressure off of these two guys. While some other people think he should call it a career. Terrible defensively. We saw what happened to OKC's defense as soon as he left. They became one of the best defensive teams in the league this year. I think he's going to make the Lakers defense worse. He's not a catch and shoot three point guy. He's like among the worst in the league at it. I'm sorry, I think it's over for Carmelo. What do you guys think? Should Melo call it quits or try and find another team where he'd fit in? I think it's time for you to pack your shit up, old man, and go. All right, y'all, moving into our next segment, Heads Up, featuring stories you might not know about, but absolutely should. Heads up, yeah, 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 heads up. If Donovan Mitchell could play with one player, it would be Kobe Bean Bryant, of course, duh. Who else? Check out why Mitchell would want to play with Mamba if he could. Uh, Kobe Bryant. I just want to see what it is day to day with him. Um, just day to day, what he brings to the table. Um, growing up, I didn't understand the, the perfection and the, the work ethic of his, but now being in the league and understanding it and hearing multiple stories from countless people who have worked with him, played with him, been around him, uh, for sure, Kobe. Kobe, please come back. The Lakers need you. Moving on, Nuggets coach Mike Malone can go. Have you ever caught yourself watching a game at any level and wonder whether the coach can hoop? Well, Denver's Mike Malone consistently showed off some crazy handles and feel in the pick and roll. Check it out. Last up, the number one team in college basketball is not the team most expected. Duke, nah. Kentucky, nope. North Carolina, uh-uh. Gonzaga, hell no. The top college hoops team in the country resides at the University of Tennessee. The Volunteers are 17-1 on the season, including a perfect 6-0 in the SEC. 
Tennessee survived an overtime scare Wednesday night against Vanderbilt to stay atop the rankings. So, the number one team in the land has to be loaded with high-level recruits, right? Think again, because most of the Vols roster is filled with former three-star recruits. Tennessee's leading scorer is Grant Williams, who was a three-star recruit coming out of high school and 191st ranked player in the country. The Vols' second leading scorer is Admiral Schofield, another three-star recruit who was ranked 251st in his high school class. Let it be known, five stars ain't the only way to the top, boys and girls. Well, that concludes today's episode, guys. As usual, we want you to be a part of the combo. Make sure to let us know your take in the comments. And if you're lucky, your comment might win you some free swag. Also, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button while you're here so you can stay in the ball is life loop. If you missed our last episode and you need to catch up, no big deal, you can click right over here. And if you're a hoop junkie like myself and you wanna check out our latest baller ass highlight vids, click right over here. Thanks for keeping it locked on the heat check. That girl, Kayla Nicole, logging off.